Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And today we're doing a EDC review video of the VE10 Viper Raid EDC pouch. Alright. So it's uh <clears throat> initially I was not really happy with it. Um uh, kind of disappointed with it. <clears throat> I didn't think it held a lot of stuff. But in all fairness, uh, a pouch like this that goes into your pants pocket or cargo pants pocket or whatever, uh, you really can't expect it to hold a lot, okay? Because you, you also have to realize that your pockets may not hold a lot. So, um, you know, for you to think that this is going to hold a lot of stuff, especially full-size tools, um, is really unrealistic. But overall, I, I'm going to say that uh, this pouch, to be, pref, to be fair, uh, I'm going to say that this pouch is pretty good for what it was probably designed for. And let's get into what I have in this pouch right now. It's, um, I, got, I, I attached this lanyard. On, it, it, when I have this in my pocket, cargo pants pocket, I wanted to be able to pull out my Microtech uh, without having to pull out the pouch. So I attached this lanyard on there Okay, so that's in the front pocket outside front pocket and along with that is a small right in the rain uh, Pen let's open her up There are no more pockets uh, That's it on the outside uh, Here is on the side here Um a traditional folder, cold steel folder. On the uh, net pocket here, we have a bit kit and uh, we have another right in the rain pen, backup pen. And on this side, we have a uh, big lighter with electrical tape and here the culprit that's taking up majority of the space inside and making the bag look pretty bulky is the full-size uh, Leatherman style uh, multi-tool made by Roxxon and this is I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna tell you that this is a pretty full-size multi-tool right up there with the, probably the Leatherman wave and all that so in all fairness for me to expect that this is going to go into this pouch with other stuff and then and close and have a really slim profile is really unrealistic okay so um just uh go back to uh, my initial impression of this pouch i have to be fair now and say it's not a bad pouch and uh <laughs> andrew fett who has the same pouch and he does a uh, review he did a review on the same particular pouch uh, he actually is able to put a lot of stuff in here um, and um, uh, he's pretty happy with it and, and I was pretty impressed with all the stuff that he puts in his and even though that uh, all this stuff here creates a pretty big fat pouch it does go into my cargo pants pocket pretty pretty good um it's a tight squeeze in there and, and it is not a full-size cargo pants pocket actually it's just a side leg pants pocket it's re it really not even a cargo pants pocket it's uh just a side i'm gonna show you real quick it's a side pocket with a zipper it, it has it does not even it has no exterior bulge to the pocket at all it's just a slit and it fits in there pretty good uh, it's snug but it'll fit in there okay so in all fairness I have to say the Viper Aid V10 um, is not a bad EDC pouch at all um, if you're if you're willing to uh, not put in full-size stuff like that in there uh, Something like a Victorinox compact probably would have been a better idea instead of a tool like this 
uh, with a because I mainly wanted a bit kit uh, and and uh, you can get a bit kit from made by Victorinox. That's pretty slim slim profile, and with a tool like a, a Victorinox Compact, you're gonna find that it's not gonna take as much space as this here, and you're gonna have this pouch work a lot better for you. So if you're gonna carry around a lot of stuff uh, in a pouch like this the lot of stuff is going to have to pretty much uh, uh you know be be confined to small objects like a mini bic lighter uh mini pen this one here actually uh, you know converts to a full-size pen if you take the uh cap off and boom like that you know um but space-saving items like smaller pocket knives, things like that go in here just fine. And so uh, overall, I'm going to have to say that the Viperade VE10, in all fairness, uh, in carrying around, I have carried around this uh, for work. All of this stuff here is my work EDC in this pouch, and I have carried around in my pants pocket. Um side pocket successfully with a very little um, noticeable discomfort or anything like that so I have to say it worked out pretty good I am happy with the fact that I put this lanyard on this uh, microtech and now I can pull this out without having to pull out the whole pouch and that's one of the good reasons for having um, lanyards uh, on your knives or whatever tools that you have in your pouch and so that's one of the reasons of having a lanyard is so you can pull out your tools without having to pull out your pouches and stuff like that out of your pocket quick access you know what i mean all right so that's my review of the viperade ve10 uh i don't highly recommend it but like i said if you have a lot of little stuff little stuff that you don't want jangling around inside your pocket and you want it semi organized uh, I do recommend something like this and um, it's not a, it's not a it's not a bad pouch at all as I initially said it was all right so check it out Thanks for watching. See you.